Hi everyone, today I'll be talking about the Retro TV handheld game console. The one I'm currently displaying here is made by Well STG. This is a cute console that's all inclusive that comes with a TV and two controllers and has the ability to play up to 108 games. Here is a side profile view of the TV that's capable of actually playing games on it in itself. However, it does have a charging point allowing you to charge it. It also has a reset button and it has an audio video jack which I won't be showing because it plugs in specifically to audio video. It also comes with a neat little detachable antenna. Unfortunately it does not pull up, it just kind of plugs into the back. Here we have a quick view of the back. This is where the recharging battery is. And here's the front with it turned on. If you turn the dial to standby mode, it'll tell you the date and time for a certain amount of time that can be adjusted in the settings. I really like the knob on the front that lets you turn it on, like you would an old school TV. It's a pretty cool effect there. It also has a set and left and right buttons, which is intended to help navigate the menu as there's a few options that you have in regards to settings with the console. As shown here, you have a language selection. This is specifically for the menu, not the games. Time settings, so you can adjust the date and time. Font color, if red doesn't work for you, there are other colors such as blue, green, and white. Screen off time, which is based on how long it's been since the last input before it shuts down, and restoring to default settings. In addition to the console itself, it also comes with not one, but two controllers, as you can see here. The controller has the following buttons, a traditional AB button that follows Nintendo, which is important as this plays primarily 8-bit games. There is an XY button that works as a rapid fire, as well as a left and right trigger that also works as a rapid fire. You have a traditional D-pad alongside a pause and select and menu button. On the very top you have a plug where you're able to charge it. In the back you have the rechargeable battery and as you can see here there is an option to switch the controllers between the player 1 and player 2 reading. Enjoy this slow motion video of me struggling with one hand to switch between player 1 to player 2. Now let's talk about the games within the console. I'm going to show a few games on screen in a moment but in the meantime Here's a quick scroll through of all 108 games. It seems like there's some potential doubles there, I haven't played all of them yet, and some of them are definitely based on bootleg games or modified versions of other games. It seems like all of them are within the NES 8-bit type genre. I figured I'd start off with some gameplay from a game that most people should know. Here's Super Mario. I have the volume set on full in the beginning, but I do dial it down. Uh, this can get pretty loud, but I feel like the audio gets crackly, so it's probably better suited for a lower volume. The screen is a tiny touch better in person, though it is very much saturated in comparison to traditional TVs. But it does work. It gets the job done. The buttons are also responsive as well. I didn't notice any major lag or anything like that, and it seems relatively sturdy. The next game I put on might not be known by as many people, Mario 16. Based on the looks of it, I'm not sure if this was actually licensed. The last game isn't a fighting game, even though it's called Street Fighter. It's actually Street Fighter 2010. I guess they ran out of space. This is a legit game, and I will leave you with this. So who is this good for? I definitely think that this is more of a novelty item than anything else. This might be ideal for someone that's looking for something cute to put on a desk, or maybe those that are big fans of retro compilation things that are not licensed. Its strengths are its design itself, and the controllers are pretty decent, but the sound and the graphic quality is not really that great, especially now when there are many things on the market that can play NES games really well. I would give it a 6.5 out of 10. 
Those that are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Who is a good for .com. I also stream on Twitch Tuesdays and Thursdays. Who is a good for? Thank you. Have a good day.